Pinterest is not a is not a social network, right? You should really think of Pinterest as a visual bookmarking or a content discovery service, right? And on Pinterest there are two types of objects. I'll give you examples later. There are pins that belong to collections. Collections are called boards, right? And users kind of collect, go all over the web to collect these pins and organize them um, into boards. Uh, and once a pin, once an object is inside Pinterest, when it's, when it's a pin, other users can discover it and interesting kind of uh, evolution of that content starts to happen. So this is an example of a pin. A pin is nothing else than a visual bookmark, if you think about it. It has an image and it has a pointer, a URL to the, to the target web page somewhere on the web. Of course, Internally at Pinterest, we know much more about it. So, for example, sometimes we would go and actually parse and crawl the target web page to extract the recipe for this particular healthy, um, you know, good looking dish. Um, we would do things like that, right? We also allow users to curate or annotate these objects, um, pins, uh, with various kinds of annotations. We know what uh, boards these um, uh, pins belong to. We also crawl the target web page to understand where that puts, uh, where that points on the web. And of course, we know kind of how people interact with this uh, given object. But kind of the, the most important thing is it's a pin with an image and a target link plus some side information. That, that, this is kind of the fundamental object of Pinterest. The, and what users of Pinterest do is whatever wherever on the web they are, they can basically go and save these pins onto the Pinterest platform. So, so whatever interesting people find on the web, they save it into Pinterest. Which means that Pinterest is this like treasure of content that is heavily human curated and, and things in there are really, really good. And then the idea is that as people make these bookmarks, they actually go do something about them. So, Usage of Pinterest is really kind of, people really plan their future using it. So it's all about people expecting uh, children, people uh, getting married, trying to get a new haircut, deciding where to go for a trip, uh, what kind of shoes to buy, um, things like that, right? What to cook, um, what are the funny jokes, what movies have they seen, what whiskeys they like to drink, things like that, right? So it's all about finding these objects on the web and curate, curating them for, for themselves so that they can kind of retrieve and, and, and do something with them later, right? So in this respect, Pinterest is a content discovery engine. And just to give an example, if I have a pin about, or think of it the following. Somewhere on the web, I find a bag I like, I, I can save it and create a pin out of it, and then a, a, this bag will belong to a board that I create. And here I say, you know, these are the bags I like. Maybe I'm just about to buy a good leather bag, and I go on the web and I start, you know, I start collecting pinning bags that are of my style that I like, right? So ra 